Hi everyone, my name is Steph. This is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share a review of I'm Not Really Here by Gary Lonsborough. This is a new release Australian Indigenous young adult title. Gary Lonsborough writes some of the most incredible queer Indigenous fiction for young adults and this book is no exception. This is the third book I've read by Gary and I've loved every single one. I think they're so important and I was really grateful when Alan Unwin sent me a review copy so that I can share it with you because I think these books need to be out there so people can see them. So this is the story of 17 year old Jonah who has just moved to a small town. He's actually gone back to his father's small hometown and he's moved there with his dad and his two younger twin brothers and this is five years after the death of their mother who died suddenly of a heart condition or heart, or heart failure. Jonah at times can be self-conscious. Not only is he Aboriginal and queer, he's also wrestling with a body image and his size and being the new kid in town and finding new friends and fitting in and all of that coming to sort of a head. He meets Harley who is the son of one of his dad's friends from childhood and they get along great. They're they become good friends and Harley encourages Jonah to try out for the rugby league team and so he does and that becomes part of the way that he begins to settle into the town and he also makes friends with another group of kids who are just a little bit different and being 17 being in high school Jonah and his friends all face the horrors of high school let's face it and trying to fit in and maybe not being the most popular kids in school. The book does deal with racism and homophobia and also the shaming of teenage girls as well and there are always people who are there to stand up to the people who are being bullies and I, I deeply appreciated that in the story. Even if the main characters feel like they can't stand up to it there are other people around them who are very comfortable or who are ready to defend their friends and I think having that in the story is really important because sometimes in the moment you don't feel like you can stand up and you can't defend yourself or you can't defend others but to see that there are other people there that gives you more confidence and I think that's what Jonah sees throughout the book. It's very much about family and friends and growing up and working through big emotions and all of the the challenges that comes with coming of age and it was just really really a wonderful book and it's definitely going to be a book for teens who fit into these sort of categories or labels where they don't always see their stories being told and I know from reading some of the notes and things that were sent as part of the review kit the author wanted a book that he could have had as a teen growing up and I think it's so important that we have these stories out there now that with the fact that we have really high quality ones is just amazing. So thank you again to the publisher for sending me the review title. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book and the author down below. In the comments below I would love to know what is your current favorite young adult title that is out there. I don't tend to read widely in young adult anymore but I do try and prioritize Australian titles and in particular Australian Indigenous titles just so that they are being shared and people can hear about them a lot more. Any Yellow Dot title that you're reading I would love to hear about it down below. If you'd like to let me know that you're here but you don't leave a comment feel free to leave any kind of football emoji down below otherwise I hope that wherever you're on the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.